And if I'm not mistaken, is it hard to keep a team healthy during the course of the season? I'm talking like flus and colds and things like that. Just because of the circumstances, where, where they go to travel, close proximity they are to people and things like that. Is it tough to keep a team healthy with the flus and colds? Uh, sometimes it is, but you know, I think a lot of times too is uh, you know, the type of condition they're in and, and the training staff. You know, we really never had a a problem here in the last few years of really having a lot of sicknesses and guys missing practices or games because of that. So uh, I think it's also the environment and the culture you create of, of uh, you know, taking care of yourself, fitness levels, the trainers doing a good job of monitoring guys um, before they get, before they really get sick of, of those symptoms. Um, so it's always something you want to make sure you take into account because the number one thing for us is we want to make sure guys are, guys are able to play and you have a culture of toughness. You know, you got to be able to play through some things too. And, and make sure that part of that is your fitness level and take care of your body. Where do you draw the line between playing through it and sitting a guy so he doesn't spread it for the rest of the team? Uh, it is always a fine line. A lot of times, it, you know, the, the trainers ultimately make that decision of, uh, of, of whether a guy is going to be contagious or not. You know, sometimes you might have to separate a guy from the, from the team or have his own water bottle or, or things like that. But um, I think our trainers have done a real good job of, of Having that fine line between having guys play, being able to play, and and then under, also understanding when it's not uh, right for the team for that particular or the player for that particular player to play. But I'd say the last few years, I think Kyle's done a really good job of of, of uh, making sure we have a real healthy lineup for the most part throughout the year. Do you communicate with other teams if, if they have a sickness go around? They'll let you know ahead of time before you go to play them. Uh, no, you know what? The trainers probably do that, okay. but the coaches don't. It's, okay. It might be. Uh, you know the, med the medical staff. The medical staff sometimes they'll they'll talk to each other about certain things like that, or even probably what's going on with the bumps. I'm sure guys have, guys from what teams have talked to each other about what they're doing.